Kiera Hudson was in an abusive relationship, even posting a disturbing video on social media that shows her getting beaten up. Jeter says her sister was staying with her mother because she feared for her life. This is the story of Kiera Benefield, a devoted mother whose life took a tragic turn in less than 24 hours after her husband, Adam Benefield, was released from prison for assaulting her. As fate would have it, on a fateful morning, Kiera was doing what every caring mother does, driving her children to school. However, this routine trip would soon turn into a nightmare when her husband who was stalking her, crashes into her vehicle and brutally take her life leaving her loved ones devastated and a community in shock. What happened during those critical hours after Adam's release? Was Kiera aware of her husband's release, and did she fear for her life? Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Buffalo, New York, a city nestled in the Empire State known for its rich history and vibrant community. But behind the city's lively facade, a heart-wrenching tragedy unfolded, leaving a void in the lives of those left behind. Kiera Hudson Benefield, a 30-year-old woman, was a devoted mother of three. Her nurturing spirit held her family together, always there for each and every one of them, offering love and support unconditionally. Her role as a mother was her pride and joy, raising her children with care and dedication, striving to provide them with the best possible life. Kiera's captivating story begins with a fairy tale wedding, as she marries Adam, filled with hope and happiness. On January 2, 2022, she takes to Facebook, beaming with joy, as she shares their enchanting wedding photos. Her heartfelt posts capture the essence of feeling beautiful, cherished, and deeply loved. She describes Adam as her lifelong partner, and in that moment, her love knows no bounds. Yet, as we all know, not all stories have a happily ever after. As time passes, the cracks in their relationship start to show. The fairy tale illusion begins to crumble. But Kiera is not one to back down from challenges. In September 2022, she shows immense courage by sharing a horrifying video with the world. In this shocking footage, Adam can be seen committing an act of unspeakable violence against her. It's a heart-wrenching plea for help, reaching out to friends, family, and authorities for support. The surveillance cameras inside her own home capture Adam's relentless and brutal attack punching, kicking, and slapping her. The nearly eight-minute long video leaves us stunned and appalled. Kiera bravely pens, this is what this man does to me, but I'm always treated like I'm the abuser. A gut-wrenching reality behind closed doors. Did you know that on average, nearly 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States alone? In her harrowing statement to the Cheektowaga police, Kiera bears her soul, recounting the nightmare she endured at the hands of someone she once loved. Adam, her ex-con husband, turned into a menacing figure, shushing her desperate cries for help with cold, bone-chilling threats. Shut the F up, he snarled, leaving her paralyzed with fear. This was a man she thought she knew, but now, her life hung in the balance. Did you know that Kiera bravely reached out to the police, holding nothing back as she narrated the horrifying play-by-play -play of the attack that unfolded in the very walls of her home? She mustered every ounce of courage, determined to press charges and seek justice for the unspeakable horrors she endured. But despite the gravity of the situation and the heinous nature of his actions, Adam Benefield was released from jail on October 4th. How is it possible that a man with such a violent history was granted his freedom, only to unleash terror just hours later? On October 5, 2022, fate dealt a devastating blow to Kiera. As a courageous mother, she took every precaution to protect herself and her children, even wearing a bulletproof vest while accompanying them to school. Little did she know that this day would end in unimaginable horror. In a shocking turn of events, her estranged husband, Adam Benefield, unleashed a nightmare upon her. With an unfathomable rage, he rammed his vehicle into hers, cornering her and the kids. Without mercy, he pulled out a shotgun and fired a fatal blast, robbing Kiera of her life right in front of her young children. What's even more chilling is that this devastating incident occurred mere hours after Adam's release from jail. It's a grim reminder of the consequences of overlooking the severity of domestic violence cases. Adam Benefield is now facing second-degree murder charges for Kiera's death. 
However, questions have arisen surrounding the handling of the case by the Supreme Court judge in Buffalo and the Erie County District Attorney's Office. They seem to be guarding crucial court documents related to the murder case, leaving many puzzled and concerned. Supreme Court Justice William Bowler refused to give the Post a copy of the suspect's file, stating, the file was still with the judge. What was going on behind the scenes? Why the shroud of secrecy around these important pieces of evidence? And did you know that, under the bail reforms enacted by the Democratic-controlled state legislature, the judge couldn't even consider Adam Benefield's prior conviction for kidnapping an ex-girlfriend and another woman at gunpoint? New York is one of the few states across the U.S. that doesn't allow judges to weigh the dangerousness of a perpetrator when considering bail. Despite the shocking nature of the video evidence and Kiera's own statements to the police, the district attorney was adamant that no felony charges could have been filed to prevent Adam's release. He stressed that they do not fabricate evidence or unethically upgrade charges when the evidence does not support it. The decision to release him was based on the existing evidence, which, in their view, did not warrant harsher charges. Advocates, including Mayor Eric Adams, have been urging politicians to grant judges the authority to remand suspects like Benefield who are deemed a threat to society, not just based on the likelihood of their return to court. Did you know that even an order of protection issued by the judge in Ms. Benefield's case proved to be ineffective? Fearing for her life, she took extreme measures, even going as far as wearing the bulletproof vest for a school run. Tragically, these precautions were not enough. Adam was captured after a week-long manhunt and was held without bail. During his arraignment on October 21, he pleaded not guilty to charges of murder, aggravated criminal contempt, and three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. District Attorney Flynn expressed his frustration, calling for a crucial amendment to the bail law, one that would allow judges to consider the dangerousness of suspects like Benefield. One simple sentence into the statute. And that simple sentence says that judges have the ability to assess dangerousness either to you know, themselves or to other people um, in evaluating bail. State Senator Edward Rath strongly criticized the existing laws, which compelled the judge to release a man capable of such heinous acts. Republican gubernatorial candidate Lee Zeldin also pointed fingers at Governor Kathy Hochul, accusing her of not taking necessary actions to repeal cashless bail laws and provide judges with the discretion to assess dangerousness. The devastating loss of Ms. Benefield sheds light on the pressing need for change. Domestic violence advocates emphasize that judges should be empowered to consider a pattern of related violence when determining bail. As Dorch and Laidholt, director of the Center for Battered Women's Legal Services at Sanctuary for Families, explains, current criminal justice reforms have led to unintended consequences, leaving domestic violence victims underprotected. It is vital to recognize that women of color, particularly, are at the greatest risk in intimate partner homicides. The tragic fate of Ms. Benefield serves as a stark reminder that the system failed her and others like her. Kiera's heartbreaking fate has left her family and community in profound grief, and it's clear that this tragedy could have been prevented. The limitations within the judicial system played a significant role, exposing flaws in current bail laws that failed to assess the dangerousness of the suspect. This allowed him to be released, ultimately leading to the horrific outcome we now mourn. The loss of a mother of three deeply affects her children, who witnessed the horrifying incident, the victim's immediate family will grapple with immense grief and trauma, requiring compassion and professional help to heal. What measures do you believe could help prevent such heartbreaking tragedies from happening in the future? And have you or someone you know been affected by domestic violence? Share your story and let's break the silence together. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.